What is a resilient person? Today, I'm going to explain what that is to you in plain English, and I'm going to tell you what the one key thing I've found that makes a huge difference in building your resilience. And I'm going to show you a simple habit that you can build that can really increase your resilience. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos that show you how to thrive in this crazy complex world that we're in, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell so that you will be notified when the videos are up. And please like and share so that we can pass this on to everybody who can use this information. What is a resilient person? Well, a resilient person is someone who's able to respond to challenging events to difficult situations and be able to deal with them uh, we can grow that we can change that it can evolve over time and other videos i've got show you uh specific things you can do i want to really pin down one specific thing that's going to help you really really ramp up your resilience. Now, to help you understand this, what I'd like you to do is, uh, for a moment, take a look around and see everything that you can see that's red around you. You know, certainly the screen now, uh, but clothing, little things it, it, all around you that are red. Start to pick out all of the things that you can see that are that's red. Okay, it could be signs, it could be uh, things outside in the uh, uh, through the window, it could be stuff lying around the room, all sorts of things, pens and uh, memory cards, whatever. Okay, try to pick out everything that's red. Now, what I'd like you to do. Uh, and this is not for anyone who's listening to this while driving or operating any machinery, of course, I have to say that. <laughs> uh, but just right now, if you're just sitting here watching this, I need you to close your eyes. Come on, work with me. I can see you. Close your eyes and just for a moment, close them. And yes, I mean you too. And just while your eyes are closed, name three things that are blue. How easy was that? Probably not easy because you were, what, focused on the red. All you were doing was seeing red. So why does that happen? What's, what, what was going on there? Well, I gave you that, that um, thing to be able to take a look at the red. You weren't paying attention to blue and, you know, some of you may be wearing more blue than red, but you were just focused, focused, focused on the red. And I'm going to show you now what this has to do with resilience. So if we come over here and let's say this circle covers everything in the world, in the universe, everything that's going on out there. Are you concerned about everything that's going on in the world? Probably not. So there's a smaller range of things. If you are, I really suggest counseling. But if you're concerned with everything in the universe, that's an issue. But there's probably a smaller circle, which we'll call your circle of concern, which is what you're concerned about. Now, of all the things you're concerned about, can you control or influence them all? No. Probably not. There's a there's a smaller amount that you can actually control. So that's your circle of influence, where you can either control or you can influence what's happening. Okay? And here's the thing. What we tend to do in our lives is we build a habit of focusing on what we can't control. What we do is we see all the red. 
Isn't that what we've done? We've focused, we've built a habit in our lives of just focusing on all the things we can't control. And we get frustrated at that. And it beats us up. Do you know what happens when you do that? If this is your circle of concern, what do you think happens to the blue? Just like in the exercise you just did. Even if there's more blue around you than red, you don't see it. So what happens is the circle of influence shrinks so that you feel very that there's very little in your control very little that you actually have any influence any control over for many people this is what it felt like during the pandemic right we couldn't go to work we didn't know all this uncertainty that went on and we felt there was so little that we could do to influence things. We were washing our groceries. We were doing all of these, these things because we just didn't know what was happening. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is a habit focusing on what you can't control. Here's another little exercise. Try this out. Cross your arms. Okay? Now, cross them the other way. Now, first of all, most of you went back to crossing it the same way. But if you do cross it the other way, what happens? It feels weird because it's not what you normally do. What I'd like you to do is work on a different habit that's going to feel weird. And it's to start to focus on the blue. So you, what I'd like you to do is start to look at the things that are out there that Maybe you can't control, but at least you can influence. Start to make lists of what you have control over. And if not control, influence, okay? Uh, a lot of times our to-do lists work against us because we don't have control over it. We can't finish the support because we're wait waiting for Jerry to give us the data. Well, what is in our control is I can send emails to Jerry, I can call Jerry, I can go to his office and stalk him until he gets me. That's in my control. I can work on that to be able to move things forward. You know what will do happen as you start to focus more and more what's in your control? That blue will start to grow. Now, it's not going to grow as as big as the circle of concern but all of a sudden that blue is going to be, start to become a whole lot more dominant and as it does your resilience your personal power is going to grow and so is your resilience does this make sense so at its simplest what uh a resilient person is, is someone who has higher personal power. The more you feel that you have influence or control over what's going on around you, the higher your resilience. If you can build a habit of starting to see the blue, you can start to move things forward, ramp up your resilience and get a whole lot better results many ways of doing this I have a buddy that you start working on this with um, you can journal at the end of the day uh, start to look at the things that you do have influence over you know yes there's going to be a lot of things you're in the habit of looking at the red but let's start to build that habit of looking at the blue. The more you can see the blue, the higher your personal power. The higher your personal power, the higher your resilience. Give it a shot. See how it goes and let me know in the comments how it works out for you. How often are you up all night because your head's going nonstop talking about things that make no sense or beating yourself up about things that you can't change anyway? How often do you second guess yourself? Again, beating yourself up because of stuff you did or didn't do or worrying about what's to come with this endless, endless head chatter. Some people even think that head chatter is who they are. It's not 
who you are. I've got some news for you. You can take control of that. What would you say if I told you I could show you how to turn that off just like that anytime you wanted so that you can step into presence, into mindfulness, and be able to have a decent, nice sleep without constantly having this going all the time. That's exactly what I can show you in a free course I've created. Just go to silenceselftalk.com, sign up, and it's my gift to you. This, to me, is the biggest barrier to uh, resilience. It's what wears down the resilience. If you can shut that off, if you can quiet it down, you ramp up your resilience and you deepen your ability to be fully present in the things that you really want to experience in your life. Go to the site, sign up now, enjoy. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos that show you how to thrive in this crazy complex world that we're in, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell so that you will be notified when the videos are up. And please like and share so that we can pass this on to everybody who can use this information.